Imagine drifting through the cold, endless dark of space, an ocean so vast that light itself struggles to cross it. For billions of years, it has been silent, empty, indifferent. And then, out of that nothingness, something extraordinary happens. A tiny speck of dust and gas begins to swirl, pulled together by gravity's invisible hand. It grows, ignites, and becomes a star. Around it, fragments of rock and ice collide, merge, and shatter, until, on one small orbiting stone, something miraculous awakens. That stone is Earth. It shouldn't exist. Not here. Not like this. In the grand theater of the cosmos, Earth is a cosmic miracle, an oasis in a desert of death. Every atom of air we breathe, every drop of water that falls, every heartbeat is part of a story written in the language of the stars. But what makes our planet so impossibly special? And how did it come to be in the perfect place, at the perfect time, for life to flourish? To understand that, we have to go back to the beginning. Over 4.5 billion years ago, our solar system was chaos. A swirling cloud of dust and gas left over from the death of an ancient star. Supernova explosions had seeded this region of space with heavy elements, carbon, oxygen, iron, materials forged in stellar furnaces light years away. From cosmic ashes, our story was about to begin. Gravity drew this debris together, collapsing it into a spinning disk. At its heart, the sun was born, its nuclear fires igniting in a blaze of light. Around it, tiny fragments clumped together, forming planets. Some became gas giants, some remained barren rocks. But one, positioned at just the right distance from the newborn sun, would become the cradle of life. That distance, the so-called Goldilocks zone, wasn't too hot and not too cold. Here, Water could exist as a liquid, the elixir of life. But even that alone wasn't enough. The early Earth was hell. Volcanoes spewed toxic gases, meteors rained down like divine wrath, and the sky glowed red with molten fury. And yet, through this chaos, the building blocks of life were gathering. Scientists believe that deep in the ancient oceans, Lightning and heat triggered chemical reactions that turned simple molecules into complex chains. Amino acids, lipids, the first whispers of biology. Perhaps it was in volcanic vents beneath the sea, or perhaps it came from far away, from comets carrying frozen organic compounds. However it happened, the moment life appeared, the universe changed forever. For the first time, matter could look back at the cosmos and wonder what it was. Over billions of years, life evolved, adapted, and survived. From single-celled organisms came plants, fish, reptiles, mammals, each generation shaped by catastrophe and chance. The dinosaurs ruled for over 160 million years, only to be wiped out in a single day when a space rock six miles wide slammed into Earth. It was destruction on an unimaginable scale. And yet, from that ruin, mammals rose. And from them, eventually, us. But none of this would have been possible without a symphony of cosmic coincidences. Take the moon, for example. It's not just a pretty light in the night sky. It's a stabilizer. Without it, Earth would wobble like a spinning top, its climate swinging wildly between extremes. The moon's gravity creates tides, stirring the oceans, helping early life evolve in the shifting dance of land and sea. And how did we get this perfect companion? A catastrophic collision, when a Mars-sized object named Theia slammed into the young Earth, scattering molten rock into orbit. From that destruction, the moon was born, a cosmic accident that became our guardian. Even Jupiter, the giant of our solar system, plays a role in this miracle. Its immense gravity acts like a celestial shield, deflecting asteroids and comets that might otherwise strike Earth. Without Jupiter, our planet might have been pulverized long before life had a chance to begin. And then there's our Sun, not too big, not too small, not too volatile. 
stars slightly larger burn out quickly, ending their lives in violent explosions. Smaller stars flare unpredictably, sterilizing their planets. But our sun? It burns with steady grace, a perfect balance that has lasted for billions of years. Yet despite this perfect harmony, Earth's stability is an illusion. The magnetic field that protects us from solar radiation could fade one day. The continents drift, the poles flip, and every few hundred million years, mass extinctions sweep the planet clean. The universe is not kind, it is not safe, and still, life persists. Think about that for a moment. Out of the billions of galaxies, each with billions of stars, we found thousands of planets, but none quite like this one. Some are too hot, others too cold. Some are bathed in radiation or smothered by poison atmospheres. A few may hold oceans, clouds, or even microbial life, but none so far with forests, whales, music, and memory. And yet, it's possible that somewhere, hidden among the stars, another Earth waits. A twin world orbiting another sun, with its own oceans, its own civilizations staring at their night sky wondering if they're alone. The odds are staggering, and yet the universe is vast beyond comprehension. There are more stars in the cosmos than grains of sand on all the beaches of Earth. If life could happen here, why not elsewhere? Maybe we are not the miracle. Maybe life itself is the universe's way of knowing itself, a phenomenon written into its very fabric, waiting to emerge wherever conditions allow. Still, for now, Earth remains our only home, a cosmic island adrift in a black sea of infinity. Every tree, every mountain, every face you've ever known, all part of this fragile blue sphere, held together by the most delicate of balances. If the sun were just a little hotter, we'd boil. If the atmosphere were a little thinner, we'd freeze. If gravity were weaker, our oceans would drift into space. And yet, against every odd, here we are, breathing, dreaming, asking questions no other known creature can. When you look up at the night sky, every star you see is a reminder of how improbable we are. The atoms in your body were forged in ancient supernovae. The calcium in your bones, the iron in your blood, the oxygen in your lungs, all born in the hearts of stars that died long before the Earth even existed. You are, quite literally, made of stardust. So when we say Earth is a cosmic miracle, it's not just poetic, it's scientific truth. A series of impossibly precise events, woven together over billions of years, have conspired to make this world what it is. And maybe that's the greatest mystery of all. Not that we exist in a universe so vast and ancient, but that in the midst of its silence, a small blue planet found a way to sing. Earth is more than our home, it's proof that the universe can dream. 